Oh my goodness, the craziest lightning storm is going on right now. I'm gonna actually capture it and see if I can film it for you. I'm headed to the Dollar Tree. This is absolutely amazing. I came out here to let little guy out and we've been experiencing thunder thunderstorms and showers all day long, but this is like really cool. It's kind of got, the sun is shining, but there's lightning in the background. Anyways, I, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and until the next video, enjoy the walkthrough. Bye for now. These are really nice. They're new. I say Canada on them. They're very good quality. This one here has just a flag print. Oh, I like this one a lot. And then you just have your standard colors that we saw about two weeks ago. There's one pink one left. Some new shirts are out. The stretchy material. It's a different cotton. It has um this one here doesn't have stretch, it's just a regular cotton, but the other ones are like stretchy. These made it, wow. I wasn't expecting to see these here in Canada, to be honest, but there's the pineapple print and the anchor. They're really nice, but they're not um, big enough for me. And then these little wristlets are still kicking around. I'm really surprised to see these here. Ah, that's, this is exactly, oh, look at this. So pretty. You can put that together and you have a little outfit. And these are still hanging around the cacti type bags. Some other prints here as well. Have you guys started planting your seeds yet? Um, are they growing? Or have you used these ones? There's the flower ones and then there's the vegetable seeds. I started tomatoes last year and then we went away and I killed them. <laughs> these are so cute if you're going berry picking. So coming up in you know June or July, you'll start to go berry picking with usually the kids. It would be fun to have a little basket like that. Look at this, the form wreaths are here. This is awesome. A square one. Super cool. And some random garden things. Hose nozzle, like nozzles. The little pot, clay pots, terracotta pots. Still looking for rectangular stackables, but I have not seen them at any of the stores I go to. These are what I use on my craft cart, which I actually shared in a all video of how I organize my craft goodies on my craft cart, so I'll link the card up for you guys. This is a cute tablecloth and some really pretty summer prints. Look at these new stickers. I'm going to go through them here for you guys. I love that bird. It's so nice. I love the colors. They're like gray and blue tones. This is new. It's like a super the superhero theme pack. Mermaid theme and pirates. Sports. These are new sports stickers. There's a variety of different themes here. My favorite stickers of all time are these vintage stickers. I absolutely love them. And they're not found at all the Dollar Tree, so this is always nice when I see them here. Although I have enough of them at home and should be putting those back. Such pretty embellishment type stickers here. Wow. Wow. Look at these little hearts. So cute. And the butterflies.
so nice to see the zebra line. Whenever I see the zebra line, you just know that the value is a little bit higher elsewhere, so definitely worth trying. Has anyone tried these ones? And these ones here are gel. The little three pack notebooks are always so cute. They're great for giveaways and putting in happy mail because you can divvy it up so you're getting three little notebooks out of one package, which is always a nice deal. I love this print. Love the blueprint. Mmm, Pringles. I'm looking for the tikka, I think, tikka masala. These ones here are different. I bought this pack of pens and it is made by Bic. I'm going to do a review on them and see if they work just as smooth as they are advertised to be. And it looks like this, this, this is the new packaging now that's available in like a blue. It just says XV or something on it. And those are the exact same pens. So they've just been bought out by this specific company or packaging or however it's working. And Buffalo Lead. So this one is blue. And then this one here has a variety. Red and lead color. This is really pretty. It's kind of like a plasticky, but... It's really nice. And you've got your dry erase markers, all your typical stuff that you see normally, highlighters, permanent markers. I love using these stencils for different artwork and I did a Pottery Barn dupe not too long ago using this stencil and it worked Oh, some of the mini binder page dividers, darn. I thought these would have been the main mini page protectors. So these fit into these little mini binders, which I then use as sticker um, binders, but I need the mini, I need more of the mini page protectors and they come in little packages just like this. So if anyone sees them, grab them because they're rare. Look at these cute little Westcott scissors, the little critters, the little bumblebee. I know there's a ladybug out there as well. I love these doilies for wrapping up pocket letters and doing my crafts with. So this is a really great value because Michael's charges an arm and a leg for these doilies, especially if you have a variety kit there. are great for summertime like if you're bringing um, a salad to bring to any friends or families then it has the bowl and the lid so you're not left you don't have to worry about bringing something home they can recycle it or use it as well J Money DIY has created some amazing things with this, these little Jenga tower games. If you want to check out her channel, I'll link. Maybe I'll try to link it up above so that it'll take you to her DIY. But she's done a beautiful tray, serving tray made out of it. Um, some makeup like organizers. She's just so creative when it comes to that stuff. These are cute little kits too. If you want to break them apart, you can for loot bags.
This one here is new to me. I've never seen this type of more stringy. It's a small knitting yarn bundle, but compared to these ones here, so you've got your eye. Oh, here's another one, but see, it's a little bit thicker. It's got more this plushy. Then you've got your, I guess, eyelash type yarn. I love the eyelash yarn. It's so pretty. Love all the colors. And then you've got all your little crochet tools. There's some that are aluminum and then plastic. I think I need to grab one of these. I keep eyeing it and leaving it behind. And then there's a stencil brush. Oh, this is new. It's like a scratch it kit. Cool. Got all your acrylics. There's no Mod Podge, but there's chalk paint. Oh, and my favorite little embellishment holders. <laughs> One more package to the cart. And I love these wood pieces because they're so easy to stain and DIY as well. These are so pretty, these sequin. Sequins are so fun. These look promising. Has anyone tried these little clip-on spotlights? Oh, look at this one. When you're reading something next to someone and don't want to disturb them. They're great for guides and stuff. These are new mess-free coloring books. Tinkerbell. So it comes with markers and then you've got all your pages. Oh my goodness. Look what I found. I'm looking for more. These are like puffy stickers, so they're not a very much, there's only four to a pack, which the value isn't the greatest, but because they're puffy, you're gonna spend a lot more at Michael's. There's the flamingo, the pineapple. These little cart containers are great for embellishment swaps. These cross stitch mats are really great for doing DIYs as well. I have to think of something. Look at this, little photo bags. It's too bad they only fit a bit of a smaller sized photo bag. Sorry, a camera. And these are some of the prints that are available for your phones, just phone cases. It's a really pretty spring, summer-like print. I always like showing you guys the canvas boards that we have so there seem to be like different sizes now that they've come out with so they have like also these paint, like I call them like coloring canvases and then they have the plain ones so this one's a square then they have the rectangle oh my goodness these are so cute the little air fresheners and they're in the shape of a rose so pretty to put together as like a little Mother's Day basket Mm, I love anything coconut. wonder if this smells nice. It has a light throw. It's not very strong. And there's lots of burlap. Colored burlap. I always love sharing with you guys what's in the craft aisle. It's, this is nice to see tacky glue. All these beautiful glass seed beads. Well, just glass beads. And the glitter.
I think I mentioned this in every video. These, this tweezer set is definitely not worth your money. I wonder if this is any good. This is new. I love the pop dot tape. So there's three sizes and I love it. It's such a great value. There are no more of the little laughing Buddhas. I love these two, they're really pretty. You can do a lot with those, really farmhousey um, decor. Oh, such a pretty color. That would look so nice with a cactus. And I did a DIY with this and it turned out really nice as a candle holder. Oh, the little French men are still here, <laughs> the little chef. It's got a muffin or a cake, so cute. I finally, this is such a cute little idea, but to use this as a spoon holder or uh, next to your stove top is such a great idea. Thank you, Ray Ray, for the idea. Lots of candles still here, and this one is still fully oh, like that one. These ones are really pretty transform the little jars into something after. I love these ones for their little the little prints, the little dots on them. These are new. Wow, Mary and Posa is stepping up their game. They have these pretty little stands now in the store, which I had ne I've never seen anything like this. So they've created like a little display box of their own. Um, aside from having Dollar Tree hang it on their pegs. Look at the variety of makeup here hanging. Lipsticks, everything. This one's really pretty in their glass. So you can make like a little candle holder. Super cute. And this one's really nice too. Oh, I like this. The colors are so vibrant. There's no smell to this candle though. Oh, that's too bad. These are really pretty too, the rose shaped candle holders. Oh, no way. Here they are. This is what I was looking for a few weeks ago when I did that backdrop for Scarlett's birthday morning. This one's pretty too. Oh, look at this pineapple. How fun for like a spring, summer type setup. So cute. A little pineapple. You can spray paint those and change them up. How fun. So many nice things. Oh, Brookside, I never see these chocolates here. This is a pretty big, it's like not the least expensive chocolates on the market, so it's nice to see them here. What a variety, I'm gonna go through them. Oh my goodness, those are cute. Big giant pops, well, I guess it's a pack of them. Five lollipops in here.
So this glassware is typically made by Libby and that's made in the US. So see the little L? That's a Libby brand made in the USA. Just going to see if the other ones here are also Libby. They have the martini glasses or these guys. But see, they could have changed the sticker on the, on the bottom. But these are made by, well, they're imported by Green Buyer, so I'm not sure if they're the Libby, but Libby's a very good class. They hold up really well. I really like this nude collection. It's very smooth lipstick. It's not sticky like their previous ones that I tried. Oh, lots of e.l.f. product here too. They still have only that one color. And there's lipstick. The tweezers, I uh, opened up a pack and they work really well. I'm really happy and I should actually buy some more. These sometimes come in a pack of 12, so just be careful about um, bonus packs because you could get a lot more for your money. These little containers are great for putting acetone in them, so they're, they work as a little pump, I believe. And you just use a little cotton swab on them. Oh, made in Canada. And little sponges, beauty, beauty sponges, squishy. I'm still looking for mugs and stuff that go with that other. See these placemats? I made um, pillows with them. They're really easy. I'll link the card up above. This looks interesting a citronella wristband i think anything they can come up with eh i don't know i'm finding it's a little bit wasteful you can just spray some citronella i think on your wrist and these are the little magnets that are left kicking around here i use these little fans sometimes when i'm doing my nails and i use them as a little dryer This is cute. I wish it was wood, but it's just a wind up little fish plastic one. I hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me today. I look forward to sharing my haul with you guys. Until the next time, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.